got British TLR driver here, Darren Bloomfield. Had a pretty solid day. Yeah, it was pretty uh, consistent. Not too bad. Never right at the top, but always in the top ten. So. And uh, speci uh, specifically here in round four, uh, you know, put it in the top ten again, like you said. And after four rounds, you're looking pretty good to make the main. Yeah, I've got now a three, five, seven, and an eight. So looking good. Uh, it seems like the Brit uh, specifically the European racers have gotten faster as the race goes on. You know, round number one, it was all Americans on top, and then you bloody Brits have been catching up after that. We're not used to the jumps. We're not used to our car leaving the floor. So once we get the hang of the few jump sections out there, I guess we catch up a little bit, whereas these guys just fling it out there and the jumps are just like corners to them. They meet them every weekend, whereas we meet at corners, but it's not so often we have jumps like this. So um, Specifically for me, I've got the, the weight for the jumps now just to drop it on top of the step-ups and um, like the tabletop triple at the end of the straight. Just, just got the weight of just doing it naturally now, whereas the beginning of the race I felt myself inside outside jumping a little bit too far jumping a bit too short so now that we got the range of where to drop it in on the jumps and stuff i guess we've we've caught up this afternoon um they they talk about one of the things that the car does differently mid motor is that it jumps differently um it doesn't jump very well mid motors don't jump anywhere near as good as as uh as rear motor because the rear motor seems to obviously with the way out of the back you can obviously fling it up on a jump get the tail in the air and then rev it and get it back but Mid motor pitch is very different, and it usually the wing usually has the strength to push the back of the car down a lot. Um, whereas mid motor, you can kind of fling it up and then hang it there. Um, but yeah, it's uh, the, the mid motor you have to, and you can't really jump like scrubbing it sideways and stuff. You have to kind of square everything up. And mid motor, you can uh, obviously come around faster because I think the mid motors carry more corner speed. Obviously, sure. that's why it's showing on the high grip. But then you have to square up for the jump, whereas mid motor you kind of carry a little bit less corner speed, but you can completely pin it on the way out. It doesn't matter where you kind of hit the jump, and you can just control it and bring it back down. I think Dakota proved that obviously at the Raw Nationals here a few weeks back, where he wasn't always necessarily online, but he was just carrying, he was just carrying speed, just bellowing it round, catching it sideways, almost upside down sometimes. So I think that proved just how much more balanced the the uh, rear motor cars are across the board for manufacturers. I don't think any of them are jump as good as any of their manuf uh, any of their rear motor version cars. And uh, after four strong runs today, do you have a different uh, you know mindset going into tomorrow's final round, or are you kind of focused now on the main event? Um, I was gonna I was gonna test a few things. I, I mean I might try I might try one less rate on a rear spring, but I'm just focused now with what I have. It's good. It's consistent. Hopefully there's gonna be some crashes in the finals, and I can pick up some some spots from there. But I think I have the speed and that that I have now, and that's I'm gonna carry that through to the finals. Excellent. Well, we're looking forward to seeing how you do tomorrow. Good luck. Awesome. Thank you. We're here with Team Associated driver Neil Craig, who's actually a former two-wheel drive IFMAR World Champion, so he knows a thing or two about winning races like this. And uh, you had a pretty good start to the week so far. Uh, yeah, not too bad. I uh, well, after four rounds, I've got a five and an eight. I can't believe I only got an eight. I was only three seconds off TQ, <laughs> and you know, but that's World Championships. You know, that's how close it is. But hopefully, one more good one tomorrow, and I'll get in the main, and I'll be pretty happy with that. And uh, you had a pretty strong run in the third round specifically, right? I had a good uh, second round. I got, I got fifth in the round. It was a pretty stellar run, you know, no major crashes, just kind of just cruised around and kept quiet. And like I say, a five and an eight, it's another uh, another good score and I'll be happy. How, is the, how has the track changed throughout the day, especially now in the evening when it's starting to get cooler? It's gotten a little cool, but it's, I mean, the, the last round was really fast. It was, it was so close. I mean, the grip must have come up a little bit, but the track's been good all day, all, all, all week. It's just been uh, trying to get the tires right for the situation, but it's, I've enjoyed it. And uh, we were talking to a lot of the European drivers, especially yesterday in practice. They were saying that uh, it's the track's got about the same amount of grip, perhaps, as maybe an AstroTurf track, but it's just less consistent. Has the track gotten better and more consistent as the day's gone on? To be honest, the track stayed consistent from day one. You know, if you notice, the lap times got down to like the 28, 29, and then they've just stayed the same, which is which is really good. You want you always want a really nice, consistent track. It is quite similar grip level to AstroTurf, but there's just a little bit more give on the on the clay, so it's a little bit easier to drive. And uh, 
you know, having a couple of good runs so far today. We have another round tomorrow before the main events. And your three best finishes of the five rounds count, uh, you know, towards your starting position in tomorrow's main events. How important does the starting position matter in a AAA main format? I mean, obviously, you always want to be at the front. But in all honesty, I think on that track where everyone's so close, TQ might not be the optimum place, you know, because everyone's going around the same play, the same uh, speed. So you're not going to be able to pull away. So you're just going to have nine cars on you for five minutes. So, I mean, I don't care where I am on the grid as long as I'm in the final because I'm not going to be TQ in it. But, I mean, if I had to choose, I would choose maybe second or third would be the best place, I think. Do you think that the track's going to be tough to race on because of you know some of the obstacles and just the speed that the cars are traveling in nearly every section of the track? Yeah, yeah, they're going around so fast, and obviously the the jumps and the grip level. It's it's going to be hard to race, but you know it should be a good spectacle. You said that the track's not really changing much, but have you had to change your car to cope with the track? No, I'm not no real major setup changes. Just you know maybe tires and stuff like that. Basically, we've just been trying to get the the tire were right for when you're on the track, but, you know, I've enjoyed it. It's been pretty good. Well, it's been a pleasure uh, watching you today, and you, obviously you've done well, so good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Yeah, 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 hey. Reminisce back when I used to watch that thriller Over and over I used to chill I was the only seed But watching Fraggle Rock